I'm going to share with you some quick tips on how you can have an organized home office. An organized office is going to lead you to have a lot more efficiency and a lot more productivity. Welcome to Efficiency and Organization, where we talk a lot about being well managed with time, having good plans in place, having good organization and planning skills to be able to achieve a lot of goals, whether it's at work, it's at home, it's personal goals, business goals, whatever they may be. So I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. This is from my office at work. Photo number one is showing you how I leave my desk at the end of each day. If you notice, there's a lot of for you actually like see the furniture, right? And that's like one of my goals. It's just like here, this is my home office. And if you notice a lot of it, you see my like furniture. I don't have piles and piles of things. So this is my post-its for today. And these will be thrown out before the end of the day. It's small tasks that I need to accomplish. I do have a couple of piles, but those are temporary piles. Like one pile, for example, is all the flyers that I need to distribute this week. So those will be off my desk before the end of the week. And the same goes for any other thing. So my desk only has things on it that are temporary, that the whole thing will be distributed and dispersed that whole week. Uh, the other thing is the only pile that I do keep is what I'm going to do each day. So for example, there's a Monday pile and the way it works is I'm going to show you the second picture now. I have a bin for each day of the week. So each day of the week, I know like when I go in in the morning or usually actually the night before, before I leave, I make sure I take the pile out from the bin and then I put it on my desk. And that's what I know I need to focus on. So if the next day is Wednesday, I'll have my Wednesday pile. If the next day is Thursday, I'll have the Thursday pile. So let's say you're off work at 4.30. 4 o'clock is the time to really stop working. That way you can organize for the next day. I know it's hard to do. I know, I know, I know. I struggle with that too. But if you want to get ready for the next day and go home with like less stress, that's one of the best things you can do. So the what mine, a lot of mine is like in folders. I have these folders that I use for the different tasks and projects and things that I have. So I put them in priority order. So whatever I need to work on first goes on top, whatever second goes second, whatever is third goes third. I don't prioritize when I'm like super busy. I have to leave and I didn't have time. I got interrupted way too much, but at least my desk is organized. And the next day when I go, I know exactly what pile to work on. The other picture I want to show you is my monthly piles to put like for the next three months, what I'm going to do. So try something like that, where it's super organized. You have the days of the week and you also have the months and then you're putting all the work that needs to be done then there. The electronic version is very similar, right? You, what you can do is go into like April, your April calendar, your May calendar, July calendar, whatever it might be, and you can write your tasks there. But for me, it really helps to have like the physical, like the physical copies. And so that's why I have the folders that I use, my pocket folders. And then I put all the things I need to do there and I put them away. In July is when we do registration and it's a major thing. I'm a high school assistant principal and registration is one of the things I take care of. There is no need for me to do that now when I'm in February. So June is the best time to work on that. And so I will have my folder for registration and I'll put it in my June pack. So that way when June comes, June 1st, I take it out and I know I got a focus. That's going to be one of my focus areas. Another example is Hispanic Heritage Month. If we celebrate it at my school, well, Hispanic Heritage Month is not until September. So I'm going to put it in the third most pile. So that way, as it comes near, I could start working on it. In the drawers and in like on my desk itself at work and at home, I have only the things that I absolutely need. So it's I know that there are some um, offices that are so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing. I love to see those too. But for me, functionality is key, like as functional as possible. So for example, I use paper clips a lot, so I have paper clips. I use post-its a lot, so I have post-it notes. So those are the things I keep on hand. Um, everything else, if I use them oh, only once in like a blue moon, there's a, another place I put them. We have like a central organized area that I put it. 
I don't have it anywhere near me to clutter my spaces. I have another video that I just released. It was on how to have like a lot of productivity and it has to do with being able to like quickly within about 20 minutes or so, look at everything you have in Outlook, look at everything you have in your calendar, your planner and folders and basically everywhere and to compile to figure out what the priorities are for the day to focus on. I'll share the link to that video here so you can look at it. Uh, if you look in the description, there are a couple other videos you might want to check out that will help you. But I just wanted to really focus on that system that I have where I do my monthly planning and how I keep my desk organized to see if it helps you. I will catch you in the next video.